This video is about how to save the plots that we make using ggplot to an image file. Often, once we've created a plot, we want to export it from R into a file that we can share with other people or include in a manuscript. And the way we do this in ggplot is using ggsave. Now we're starting where we left off last time. Uh, we've got this nice graph of the relationship between circumference and height in acacia with the points colored by the treatment from the Uhuru project. And so if we want to save that uh, so that we can share it in some way, we type gg save. And then the only required argument is the name of the file that you want to save this image to. And so we'll call it acacia by treatment. And then the way that we tell ggsave what file format we want to save the file in is with the file extension. And so if we wanted to save this as a JPEG, we would say .jpg and run this line. And if we go look uh, in the Files tab, we'll now see that we've got a file, acacia by treatment.jpg. And if we open this, we'll see that it just gives us an image file uh, of the plot that we just created. There are a number of optional arguments in ggsave that allow you to control things like the figure resolution or the size. And so uh, we could make this image bigger by saying height is equal to five and width is equal to five. And now uh, when we look at it, it will be larger and the shapes shifted because we made the full image square. And we can also set something that many of you may be familiar with if you've been writing papers already, uh, which is the uh, resolution of the image in dots per inch. And so we say DPI is equal to, and journals often want you to have at least 300 DPI. And so we can set the dot per inch this way and run things. And we'll see that the file is somewhat larger now because we've increased the resolution. Uh, but it looks exactly the same. Actually, that didn't change the size of the file because the default resolution is 300 dpi, but if we wanted a higher resolution and we made this 600 dpi and rerun it, we'll see that now the file is uh, a little more than twice as large. So that's how we save plots that we've generated using ggplot. We do it using the ggsave function, which we give the name of the file, including the file extension. And that file extension is what tells R what format to save the file in. And there are lots of optional arguments for changing the size of the figure as well as the resolution.